holidays have finally begun. It means I can actually start putting a bit of mileage on my car. So we're heading over to Mount Macedon, which is on the other side of the city. It's a bit of a drive, but the hills up there are really pretty, apparently. And uh, it's gonna be nice to take Teg, Teg Bay up there and Nick. G'day guys. He'll be joining us. What do you drive, Nick? I drive a 2014 Impreza hatchback. Oh my gosh. Unmodified. I'm <laughs> keeping it stuck, there's avoiding a, police attention. Exactly, there's a yeah. substantial wheel gap, but hey. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's does It's not it? about the Impreza today, it's about the lovely Integra that we've got. Brilliant. This is it. The reason that we came all the way out here. It's been like an hour and a half of driving and we've got to head back. But we're going to make a day of it. We will head over, grab some footage, grab some lunch no, and call quite, it a day. Quaint brunch. Mm. It's a quaint brunch. We're looking forward to it. Unfortunately, we're not in our active wear, are we, Karen? No, no. <laughs> uh, the kids are have been successfully dropped off at school practice though, so. Whoa. What is this? What did we come here for? A mocha. We came here for a mocha. We got upsold to a muddy chai. What's the technique? This is just... Yeah, yeah. Just pour it straight in. <laughs> wow, that's stunning. Wow. It's a new experience. Cascade thoughts. of sweet joy. <laughs> Alright, initial thoughts. It's actually good. Yeah? It's actually nice. Good with the honey. Oh, no. Pose. Give us a strike something. Hard gang member. Mm. So, we made it all the way to Macedon after grabbing those rails for the Recaro. drive up here was stunning and as you guys can see the lookout itself is just as amazing. Yesterday was a huge success. We got the rails we needed and Mount Macedon was actually awesome. Uh, despite this there was a slight hiccup and that was that the rails we bought didn't actually come with the hardware required to mount the seats to the rails. Um, so what we needed were six bolts that would slot into these one, two, three, four, five, six uh, mounting points um, to adhere the rails to the seat. I bought a packet of those, which I will go get. Yeah, boy, high tensile. Um, so we'll use six of these, and I also got some washers. And let's finally get this Recaro into the car. We're done. Uh, we got the bolts in, was a little bit difficult, harder to reach than I expected, and I had to use a spanner to tighten them down. But the point is, the rails are on now and we can finally mount it into the car. I'm just gonna recycle the 14 mil bolts that 
the original seats used. I'll just be using those to mount it to the car. After that, it's a matter of testing it out, giving it a nice clean, and enjoying some Recaro SR4 goodness. And she's in. It is really filthy, however, and there is that rip over here. That's pretty significant, but I guess I'll just run that seat till it dies. All in all, the entire process of actually finding a seat, buying it, finding rails for the seat, buying those, ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, it's hard to come by the parts, first of all, and I also found that if you buy the seat separately, buying the rails is pretty difficult, unless you're willing to pay ridiculous amounts of money for new stuff um, online, which I was willing to do. We did manage to have a good day at Macedon. They have some really nice roads up there and I do recommend you guys check it out if you ever do head up that way. All in all, a worthy investment and if any of you are considering taking the lead, do it. With that being said, thanks for tuning in guys. The next video will be released soon, hopefully, considering the fact that it's now uni holidays and I have a bit of spare time on my hands. So like, comment, subscribe. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching.